Hi, it's Craig, the Hot Tub Service Technician, and on these uh, videos I'm doing today, I'm going to do a bunch of videos talking about water chemistry, and uh, hopefully make sense of it. Um, I'm going to start out with uh, alkalinity and pH balancing, and we're also going to start out with test strips as well. Um, I'm on granular chlorine here, so I got test strips for chlorine. Um, if you have bromine, if you want to go with Bacquaspa, if you want to go with the frog system, you get the test strips for those sanitizers. But since I'm on granular chlorine, I've got the uh, test strips that check for chlorine. Um, this is a good rule of thumb with these test strips. There's 50 test strips in a container. There's 52 weeks a year. There is an expiration date on the bottle, so they have a one a week use them or lose them aspect to them. And that's very important because as a service tech, I see a lot of repairs in the field that are directly related to water chemistry issues. And uh, in those sort of situations, I ask to see their chemicals to make sure they're using the right stuff. And um, I take a look at their test strips and there's still a lot of test strips in here and they expired, you know, two or three years ago. And that's where the problem lies because they're not dipping a test strip every week. And if you get in the habit of dipping a test strip every week, once you balance your water, everything else falls into place. Uh, you test, you're starting to skew, you're apt to do something about it. Um, you don't test every week and just kind of ignore your uh, water and don't test your water. Your water skews, you don't even know it. So that's how important the test strips are. I'm not going to go over balancing water that comes out of the tap perfect because if your tap comes out of the, uh, you know, if your tap water comes out perfect, it's easy to maintain that. What I'm going to cover are, uh, you know, a lot of us have really hard water problems in this country and that's where a lot of these problems fall is getting your water balanced. You dip a test strip in and your bright scarlet red on the pH. Um, and with extremely hard water and your pH is sky high, your alkalinity is going to be sky high too, what's going to happen is that calcium hardness in your water wants to precipitate out of your water and build up in your spa. Not only on the shell, but it's going to scale up your heating element. It's going to scale up on your little circulation pump. It's going to scale up your spa and do tons of problems. The flip side of that is once we work to get this alkalinity and pH down to this okay range, if you don't monitor weekly, what tends to happen is it stays okay for a while, but then as the weeks go on, it slowly just starts to track low. And if you track extremely low, um, I've seen where I dip a test strip and it's bright banana yellow on the test strip, actually more yellow than what the label indicates. That's what I call off the chart slow. And that water on that end of the scale is acidic and corrosive. So you went from scaling water to pH neutral water to acidic and corrosive water. So uh, we're going to work on getting that down and weekly, weekly testing to maintain that. The maximum dosage of the pH decreaser you can use is uh, one and a quarter ounce for 500 gallons. Uh, this uh, size spa, I use about um, a heaping ounce. And you can't add any more than a, like a heaping ounce at a time for this size spa. And you can't add any more than three doses a day. So when I uh, moved to this area and moved into this house with a well, what I did was Day one, I dipped a test strip in and I saw how high it was. So I added a dose in the morning, a dose in the afternoon, and a dose in the evening. Tested the next day, still sky high. A dose in the morning, dose in the afternoon, dose in the evening. Tested the next day, still sky high. This went on every day for five days because on the morning of that sixth day, I woke up and I dipped a test strip and I was in that nice pumpkin orange area on the test strip. So I looked back at what I had done and I was like, whoa, that was three doses a day for five days. You know, that's 15 doses over the course of five days. I learned what it took to get the pH down. Now I do a test strip every week to monitor and maintain. Uh, now when I drain and refill, getting this water balanced is no longer a struggle. It's no longer an ordeal. It's no longer a mystery. I fall back on what I learned the first time. I do three doses a day for five days and bam, I am dead on every time. I run into a lot of people who say, well, why don't you just fill it up with the softened water? Well, 
even with softened water, you do have to add some pH decreaser to balance the water. And if you filled it uh, one time and your water softener had just cycled, that's going to be way different than when you fill it the next time and your water softener is due for cycling. So if you fill from the water softener, you're still going to have to adjust the pH and it's going to be an ordeal and a mystery every time. So I just fill from the tap. Um, I learned what it took to get it down and I get it down. So um, I hope this helped you with your hard water problems, getting your water balanced. I'm going to do some more videos that discuss sanitizers, what to do and what not to do. Uh, I hope this helped you out, and if it did, give me a like. Thanks.